Widad Taleb is a volunteer with the Beirut-based NGO Aji Aluna, and she told us that Tuesday's blast has taken a nationwide toll. Uh, basically, what happened was yesterday it was a national catastrophe, and it was a national tragedy that shook the entire country, if not the uh, entire globe, uh, since it was one of the biggest explosions or bombs ever recorded in history. Uh, we're witnessing uh, a destroyed city, uh, a, sh a shaken country. Uh, people have lost their homes. They've lost their shops. Uh, what you see on, on uh, social media or on the news is nothing close to what is actually happening in reality right now. OK, nothing close to what we're seeing uh, in the reality that you're experiencing right now. From the people you're speaking to, what are their most urgent needs? Their most urgent needs are uh, volunteers, which is what uh, our NGO support supplies, basically. They need volunteers, they need food, they need shelter, they, they basically need everything. They were, uh, everything was destroyed. They have nothing except their, like, their bodies, basically. Okay, so as you're saying, you're a volunteer, you've responded to this call to help. What are you doing to help these people who are in such desperate need? Uh, I have been in the area where the explosion happened since the morning. I've been uh, helping people clean their shops, clean their homes, giving people uh, whatever they need, be it water, be it food, be it uh, even emotional support, because everyone is experiencing uh, some sort of uh, traumatic uh, or PTSD, if you want to call it. So. We are basically trying our best to be there for everyone right now. Trying to be there for everyone. It must be extremely complicated given the scenes of devastation we're seeing. And we're hearing that hospitals are overwhelmed. Have you been able to go to the hospitals yourself? What are the scenes right there now? I did. I did. I've been to, uh, I went to a hospital yesterday to get blood. Uh, the scenes were overwhelming. Uh, actually, as you said, what you said was very true that uh, the catastrophe is overwhelming. We need as much support as we can get because uh, this is not enough. We need, we might need actually international support. So um, when I went to the hospital yesterday, the entire emergency room was just covered in blood. People were covered in blood. People were screaming. They were looking for their children, looking for their for their families. They needed money. So uh, we, as as Jayana, we call uh, people to help us during these very difficult times. Just checking, you can still hear me now. Now, you were saying that you've been speaking to people that people are clearly missing. People are looking for their loved ones. Uh, tell yes. us about that. How are efforts going to try and reunite families, reunite uh, mem families and friends? Uh, actually, there has been uh, pictures of the missing people circulating on social media, whether it be at Instagram, whether it be at WhatsApp. Uh, they actually started a page uh, called Locate uh, Beirut Victims, I believe. Uh, to locate these victims and to help their, their families to, to find them. Uh, they were lost during the explosion. No one knows where they are. No one knows anything about them. So uh, that's, that's all I can give you as, as information because they're lost. We don't know where they are.